to all my love and light beings. Welcome back to my station. For those of you who are new, my name is Sean Ivan D, aka my Alaskan Queen. If you'd like to join the secret Sacred Shadow Spirit Society, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. In today's video, I'll show you how I created this eye look using the Kat Von D's eye palette along with her 10th anniversary eyeshadow palette and her liquid everlasting lip. Uh, and Thunderstruck and then I topped it off with the gold shade in her 10th anniversary palette as well. So those of you who would like to see how I created this look keep on watching. For those of you who don't like it go ahead and keep on watching also but please keep your negativity to yourself I'd greatly appreciate it. Hello to all my love and light beings welcome back to my station. It's been a short minute. Uh, for those of you who are new, my name is Sean Ivan D, aka my Alaskan Queen. I just wanted to give you a quick look at this um, background wall hanging that my friend had got for me. It's a really good saying. I love those words. I live by it. So give you a little something new to look at while I'm doing my makeup it says the way to happiness is keep your heart free from hate your mind from worry live simply give much fill your life with love do as you would be done by Buddha and today so I'm gonna go ahead and go through the process with you of prepping my face this is the extra firm extra firming retinol eye serum I found this at Burlington and it's a serum that goes underneath your moisturizer and I've been using it for a while now uh, I really like the results I don't know exactly what has been working because I've been using so many different brands but I've been trying to ritually take care of my eyes and my skin and I've noticed a huge improvement the next thing I'm going in with is this Kiehl's. It says powerful strength line reducing concentrate. I believe I got this in my glossy box monthly subscription. So let's just put a little bit of that under my eyes as well. And then we're going to go ahead and prep my face. I'm going to use a little bit of the Mario Badescu. This is the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I'm just about out. And then lastly, what YouTubers made me buy. This was um, Nikki Tutorials suggested to use this. It's got a nice sticky base. It does smell like a man but it's a very good moisturizer it's called the Nivea Men Original Replenishing Post Shave Balm I went and did my eyebrows I cleaned them up a little did my hair I'm actually trying to grow my hair out this was the look that I was kind to trying to achieve is this pompadour I actually love it a lot uh, this is my first time trying to style it this way and I would say I had a little bit of success because <laughs> I'm liking it I was really debating whether or not I should shave the sides in the back and then even out the top to get rid of this line here going on but I think I'm just gonna keep on growing it out um, I usually used to go for the skater cut where it's like all one length on top and then very short on the sides and underneath but I've decided to try something different so we're just gonna grow it out and see what happens I was really debating on color also I wanted to cut it off and then do an all blonde look so maybe in the future I'll still think about it okay so now that we have our face prepped hello guys so for this um look I wanted to do something a little different again if you had noticed um, in my punk rock goth look was the first time I've ever done a voiceover like this I started reading to you from 
some of the works that I've created. And in my uh, Rainbow Pride look, I had continued it. So this is going to be a continuation of that. This would be like part three. This is actually where my poems start. And so first of all, I'm doing this in honor of my brother, my late brother, Justin C. D. Justin Cecil D. And um, he had actually passed away on Memorial Day in 2010. So this is a really special holiday for me and my family. And first of all, I'd like to thank all the military people that have served in order to give us our freedom for the country. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have the freedoms that we have today. So I'm greatly appreciative, not only for them, but the, for their family and their loved ones and friends as well. So big shout out to everybody who has um, participated in the military or the service programs. Thank you so much. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first one is called One. Raven spoke, not a word, no joke, decomposing mind thunk. Raven said, look ahead, the dead, showing you the way. Raven play, keep away, not today, he's brought another friend. Eagle Raven teases, let me know. She releases circles of sacred wander round. Eagle spirit heard my cry. Raven wit messaged me. Guhuk, guhuk, future dear. One, one future. Guhuk, we are here. One. So another poem I'd like to share with you is called Thunk Inside My Head. Thunk Inside My Head. Even the soft, whispered thoughts inside my head are a violent pounding of the pulling of my own last threads. Self-torture and torment, getting on my own damn nerves, reverberating, resonating, sunken into my skin. Am I down to my last string? Hanging on by my dear life, I wish I may, I wish I might, I think I can, I think I can, I thunk, I am. I am not the thunk, the thunk is not that I am. Thinking the thunk, making me think, I can, therefore I am. Hurt pain, driving me insane, God's way of loving is rain. You can't know one without the other, truly ever reminding me I am yet alive and of my brothers. So then this next one is called Raven is a friend of mine, and I have a long version here, and it's called Ascended. Raven is a friend of mine, this is the long version. Raven is a friend of mine, never too far is she. Even when days are cold and long, I am not without recognition of her songs. She warms the frostbitten air with sounds of such familiarity, yet I cannot understand a word she says. Raven is a friend of mine. She warned me, and I tried. I tried not to hear, but I immediately understood. Upon an empty body I drew images and thoughts I did not want to ever come true. Go away inside my head, I say. I cannot think this way. Raven is only the messenger, and one had died for me that day. Why? Why did I have to know something terrible, horrible? No good, very bad. Why? My family, me, who? Don't think like this, I say. Why? Just let it go, out of my mind. Get out of my sight, but I couldn't hide. Every single day I forgot, and I saw you again. And again I was reminded and my mind went crash and collided. Day after day for seven days, you did all you had to do, lay there helpless, hopeless, an ill reminder of how precious life is and all the creatures of and on this earth are. Raven, you died so I could see. No, no one wants this to be. For some reason we do not know, our brother just in time had had to go. Why? Why? All I hear is my mother's cry. No, oh, oh, ah, ah, and my throat freezes again, frozen like stone, hard to choke. Am I even breathing? I open my eyes, but I'm, am I still dreaming? This can't be real. This can't be right. I just stepped off the G-damn flight. My aunt sweeping me and Mateo away. We gotta go now, I say. What about my bags? We gotta go. I grab Mateo. Our sister Maggie sitting in the back with tears rolling down her face. I immediately went into checkout. 
Sean's not there anymore mode. Someone inside me said, What? What? Your brother shot himself. What? No, no, no way. What the hell? I couldn't cry. I shouldn't. I wouldn't shed a tear. Anger and hate. I was in such disbelief. As I am now being able to, I feel not only my pain, but our our families and others as well. All I see is my sister's sadness, and I know eye to eye cannot let go. Looks like never-ending heartbreak sadness. I did not want to believe. I still don't believe. But why? Can't I get it out of my head? I relive that day over and over. I relive that day over and over again. It was beautiful outside, the 30th of May, 2010, four and a quarter months since the last time I saw him. I never got to talk to him recently prior to his passing, but I will always remember his voice and the sincerity that carried it. Kind-hearted, loving, gentle soul. Why does God want the good ones? Haha, <laughs> I actually made myself laugh. See the pun? GD, good God. Crying, laughing. Tears of anger. Anger, tears of madness. Tears of grief and tears of sadness. Tears of anything but acceptance. Or am I bartering? What are the five stages anyway? Anger, blame, bartering, depression, and acceptance. Not sure about depression. It's a given for me. I have to write. I have to release. I have been shown the way. I saw it. Spirit works in mysterious ways. My brother Justin, love you, bro. I know you're there in a better place. Our family's closest connection to spirit. God is spirit. Holy. God is he. Is spirit she? She is. God thy creator, she thy guardian. Oneness, all, everyone, everywhere. My brother once asked me, do you believe in God? If I believe there is one God, he or she is not a being. Thy spirit is everywhere. Everyone, every creature, every living thing and non alike are of and is a part of spirit. God essence. You, me, dogs, birds, dirt, grass, and the rocks. What connects us all? The stars? Are we of the stars? I believe we are, and the stars are our hopes and dreams, wishes and ascended spirits. When we look up, we are looking up to ourselves. I believe we are here on this earth to fulfill purpose, and when we accomplish that, we return to the stars. God is everywhere, a part of everything, therefore he is a part of you and I, capable of anything, thy is. Find it within yourself, strength, hope, wisdom, and courage. By Sean Ivan D. 4-19-2013, typed 5-3-2014, and now reciting it here on YouTube, 5-29-2018. On 40 days, as we watched two stars go flying out of sight, my mom and I especially were brought some more delight. Another ray he had drawn, a double rainbow, he says, from me to all of you. Gifts in the form of feathers, ayuk or smudge as they call it. He will never be forgotten, forever in our hearts, always. So thank you guys so much for listening. I really appreciate it. Um, before I go, I was trying to figure out how I'm going to speed up this video and at first I had it on 10 times the original speed, but I had to drop it down to 5 in order to fit the length of this poem in here. And I do have a little bit of time left, so I'm going to go ahead and read another one to you. This is called Power and the Presence of Spirit. This is a Latin sonnet. So here it goes. The Power and the Presence of Spirit. There's no greater love than thee. You don't have to want this one for thy heart is already won. Champion, crown, and glory be. The light is given, you must see. Feel the warmth, touch of the sun. Now close your eyes and imagine we're done, for this shall truly set your spirit free. Warm in the heart and invigorating body, vibrational frequency turning, tuning into the soul. Rise in spirits, a thrill of blood flows, humming words of intriguing melody. Resonating down to the depths on a roll, from the tips of your toes up your spine to the end, ends of your hairs, chill grows. 
And then so here's an another one. This is called The American Dream, a love poem. This is my first Shakespearean sonnet. And I'd like to dedicate this to all the all the past patriots and people who have served in the military or other services that have fought for our freedom. American Dream, Love Poem, my first Shakespearean sonnet. For whom is to know that when he hath made it, ye shall find it not only in your heart, but dwelling in the mind, illuminated, lighting souls with such bountiful art. For what it is we seek yet to make thine selves and others happy, in life's journey we take that which we've only known, forsake, in sins of love and lust all left behind to be, tried in times of that yet we cannot again fathom, hoping for some redeemable reward, still holding on to the national anthem, protected by Archangel Michael's sword. The land of the free, till death to our grave, our love for goodwill and the home of the brave. So thank you so much, you guys. I hope you had an awesome Memorial Day weekend, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Sending my love and light to all. Thank you so much for all my viewers. I greatly appreciate it, every single one of you. I enjoy reading your comments. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below.